plowshare mixer. Well, as the name suggests, the mixing element is plow shaped. Uh, what you see in the image, the small blades or the series of blades, those are typically like the kitchen mixer that we have. Those are called as the choppers. These choppers uh, run at extremely high speeds to the tune of 3000 RPM and they could disintegrate any agglomerates that are formed during the mixing process. So if you have a addition of liquids in the mixing process and you do not want any lumps or agglomerates, then you use the choppers, you use the plowshare mixer. Well, it works on the principle of mechanically generated fluid bed with three dimensional moment of the product. There is a cylindrical drum which contains plow shaped mixing elements which are mounted on a horizontal shaft. As we said, they could be fitted with lump breakers or choppers for disintegration of agglomerates. The fill ratios range from 30 to 70 percent of the total volume. Plow mixers operate at high tip speeds or rather the highest tip speeds when it comes to solid blending applications uh, to the tune of 200, uh, even in excess of 200 meters per minute. Mix ratios as high as 1 to 20,000. That's, that's one part in 20,000 parts. That is the kind of mix ratios that can be mixed in a plowshare mixer and you can expect a homogeneity of 95 to 98 percent. Low mixing times, you know, less than five minutes typically. These mixers are capable of handling high viscosities to the tune of six lakh centipoises. Different types of plow configurations or, or blade configurations are available in the case of a plowshare mixer. They are relatively high on power when compared to the ribbon blenders and the power per unit volume ranges from 30 to 40 kilowatt per meter cube. Uh, 